Welcome back everyone. In this video we're going to take a look at how to draw charts in Excel. Now I'm going to assume you know nothing about Excel so there'll be a little bit of a primer on Excel and some of the terminology as we do this. So to get started first you open up Excel and we go file new and you select a blank workbook. Now in Excel a workbook is a collection of sheets of spreadsheets here. So you'll see here it starts us off with one, two, three tabs for three sheets. We're only going to be working with the first sheet in this video. So let's just stay on sheet one. Now I'm just going to quickly do this just to make stuff a little bigger for us. So for the video you can see the text. But what you're going to notice is you're going to notice that the spreadsheet is basically a giant grid where you get to put information. And this is where we'll put our information to chart or graph. Now you'll notice how things are labeled here. We have columns, A, B, C, D, and we have rows, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we have individual squares called cells. So this is cell D3, and you can see how we go from D to the 3, okay, and this would be E4, and again it says up there, E4. So this is how you locate and find your way around the spreadsheet. Now. I'll just write a few of the key terms here as we go. We had row, column, we had a sheet. Now let's keep going here. Oops, I also had cell. Now let's keep going. Let's get some data to graph. So what I'm going to do here, you can notice here I can click here, click and drag, and I can actually make my columns a little bigger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some data for a quick chart. And this is something that I asked my class. I asked him, if you had to have a pet of some type, what type would it be? And asked uh, what their votes were. Those were the only five choices I gave them. And it was like 13 for dog, 11 for cat. It was like three for bird, one for fish. I don't even know if we had any reptiles, but I'll make it up. I'll just put two. Okay, so there's our data. Notice that I put the data very neatly arranged. Okay, all the choices here are nicely in a column. All the values that I'm going to chart or graph are all in a column together, in a line. Side piece of terminology here, this here, okay, those are the points that I actually want to graph or chart out. That's called a series of values. So that's an actual term, even though it sort of just sounds like it's right. That's a series, okay, that I want to chart. These things here are called the labels or the categories. So we also have labels or categories. Now, here's how we do the chart. There's two ways to do it that we're going to show you in this video. Uh, the first way is the simple way. So the simple way is click, drag and highlight your headers or your titles there and your categories and the series of values and then go to insert find the charts button and select the very first column chart type. Now if you're using a different type of Excel or a different version, you may find that the icons don't look like this. I know in newer versions they might have this icon really really tiny with a drop down. You'll find it there. It's somewhere in the insert tab. Okay, so just keep looking for it. And we click it and pretty well that generates the chart right off the bat. Okay, that easy. Okay, some things to notice here. You have the X axis, okay, which is this axis right here, the line at the bottom. So that's another term you should know. And you'll notice it's put the categories or the labels, dog, cat, bird, fish, reptile. And you notice this axis has the number values. Okay, that's good. You'll notice you have a title up here. And you can see here as I click on things, they're all selectable to let me edit them later. If you do want to change any text like this here, thank you, then you can just double click in it, whoops, click in it once, and then a second time and you get the cursor in there. So I could put, you know, my cool chart of pet votes. Your title should be serious, okay, no my cool chart. But it should let you know what you're looking at right inside of your chart. You'll notice here 
That's called the legend. For this particular chart, we don't really need a legend. I mean, if it's called the chart of pet votes, and I'm going to label this votes in a little bit, and this is going to be labeled pets, do you really need that to tell me these are the votes? Probably not. If you don't like something, you can just hit delete, get rid of it. But that was called the legend. The legend is good when you have like um, grade nines made these votes, grade tens made these votes, and you put them in a different color. The legend can obviously tell you grade nines blue, grade tens are red, etc. That's when you use a legend, okay? But don't complicate your graph with extra things on it. Now, things I want to change or add to this graph here, <clears throat> I'd like to put something on the sidebar that maybe says votes, and I'd like to put something down here that says type of pet. Where do you find this? In newer versions of Excel, you're going to notice that your chart has a plus symbol, probably right around here. And if you click the plus symbol, you're going to get the options that I'm about to do a different way. So if you have the plus symbol, use the plus symbol. If you don't have the plus symbol, like I don't, you go over to the tab called Design. No, you go to the tab called Layout. And you'll see in Layout, this is basically what the plus sign does in the newer version. You can change your chart title, where it is and what it looks like. Axis Titles. So the horizontal one, let's do it. There's a title for me to enter there. Let's go for axis title vertical. Let's put it there. Legend, no, I deleted the legend. I turned it off, none. Labels, well, let's just see what they look like. Eh, probably too busy. Okay, it's pretty clear. These bars are easy to read. This is a simple chart. Don't overcomplicate your chart with extra information, right? Remember your target audience. Make a simple chart. Data table? Yeah, no, this is too complicated for this. No data table needed. Grid lines. Horizontal. Vertical. You know, you decide what looks good. Okay, whether it's too much or too little. Okay, so let's leave it at that. Anyways, that's your basic chart. To finish this off properly, I would probably want to actually write votes in there. And down here, I could change it off and make it types. How about animal type? And there we go. That's not a bad looking graph or chart. Okay, and for now, that's really the easy basic way. In the next video, I'm going to show you the second way. And the second way, it's going to seem a little harder, but it is much more flexible. So we'll see in that video, you have to know how to do the second way. Thanks for watching.